Fantastic sight as we go racing for the GT1s, Phil. And what about the front row? And what about uh, John Ray? He's got a separated shoulder. He can't race his car. He decides, who will I put in it? I know, five-time Trans Am champion Kane Scott. So Kane Scott on the front row in that amazing Chevy Corvette. So they're heading down to the grid for this race start. Kane Scott in the John Ray Insurance Corvette. Big engine, sequential gearbox. That is a serious, serious piece of kit as we've got the green. We are about to go racing. Waiting for the lights to go out. GT1 action here at the ITM 400 in Hamilton. Cameron Jones in the Mazda powered Camaro gets monstered by Harry Dodson. From Harry Dodson. How many times have we seen Harry do that? Little bit of rubbing as they head into turn one. Cameron Jones is going to get hung out to dry on the outside line there. Kane Scott looking to go up the inside of him. Good start too from Clark Proctor. Craig Corliss got away well. And Justin Herbert, GT2 champion, got away in the mid pack. But a good start for him as well. Yes, yeah, Harry Dodson. Pretty congested down through one. Chris Hatton in the golden black Camaro got a shot there down the inside from one of the RX-7s. But yeah, Harry Dodson, I think we'll rename him John Force after that dragster style start. But we know how good those GTRs are. That's a target spec GTR. Certainly not as wild as uh, Kane Scott chasing him down in the John Ray Insurance Corvette through the chicane the first time. Oh, and Kane Scott getting a lot closer there to the Nissan of Dodson. Just look at the way some of these cars oh, attack the, up, the, the uh, chicane up. here. Warwick yeah, I think that might have been Warwick Mortimer in the BMW. Locked everything up. Just had a second thought about it. Kane Scott getting racing up the inside of Dodson's. He certainly have the horsepower advantage, and he's got the spot as they go through ITM. So the five-time Trans Am champion, the past New Zealand V8 champion, Kane Scott in the front, Harry Dodson in second, Cameron Jones, and the guy behind him, Jamie, that's the one I'm looking forward to having a look at. This is Nick Chester. We were robbed of Nick Chester over the summer with a huge uh, engine failure at Pukekohe in the first round of the summer series, but he's back, and I tell you what, he's loaded for beer. Yeah, it's the Uber Supercar Commodore, the Chester's Commodore, of course, 412 cubic inches of road air. I think the boys are talking something around 800 horsepower, and I think Kane Scott's Corvette's probably not too shy away from that as well and talking to Kane before this weekend really excited about driving this car because it's fuel injected he's been used to driving the carbureted machines and the sequential gearbox as he's getting older I think he's getting a little bit lazier loves the sequential gearbox in that thing well I said to John Ray yesterday I said listen I said you're not driving it and he said no no he said but I got a capable replacement he said we know the car goes good round here it went good round here last year and he said he thinks Kane will just step it up that one more degree yeah well Kane's already made some changes to that car already this weekend so when John does get back and I think it'll be a not a lot nicer race car to drive anyway how good is Harry Dodson here holding off Cameron Jones and Nick Chester I mean he'll be giving a serious amount of horsepower the advantage he does have obviously is with the four-wheel drive and around the back part